Hello, in this um, class we're going to work on update. Um, if we click on edit, for example, we want to go into a form where we can update things. Now, in posts we have edit and here we're going to do some change. But um, edit and new have exactly the same content. So one option is to copy all this and paste it in edit, but that's just uh, duplicating things. So we're going to use um, partials here. So let's save a new file. I will call this form underscore form.html.erb. So this is our new partial. And if we go into edit, we'll copy um, what we have in here, uh, the content for form, and then we're going to paste uh, that into our form underscore form.html. Um, actually, we could uh, copy everything, including uh, validation. So if we take this from here, and we'll come into our partial and we can paste it in there. All right, and um, in here we can make a reference to our partial by saying render and we'll give it form without the underscore. All right, so we need to, uh, so now this partial has post been sent into it and if we uh, come in here, we could say um, render form uh, send post to it. All right, but um, because this is within post, uh, there's no need. We're not using this outside of post. So uh, creating a new uh, requires a post uh, instance variable and editing will require um, post instance variable too. So in that case, we don't need to make this um, reference. So it should work just as it is. Okay, so um, let's give this a try. So if I click on new, the form will be filled in. Uh, if I click on submit, um, validation error. So this works, this is fine. All right, so if I copy this from new and I go into edit, and we can paste this here. And let's see, if we're going to moderators, I'm um, going to post and click on edit. And just waiting for it. And we have a validation error. Um, sorry, we have a missing a new class error, which is instance variable has not been set. So we're going to our edit. So when we click on edit, it shows us the uh, the edit.html with a form filled in. So we need to do a find params ID and assign the value to post and do that again. And this time it works. And we can see um, our field is, um, has values in them. All right, and when we uh, click on update, we can see that we have a template missing, which is fine. So let's, um, let's fix that. So when we fill in a form edit comes up, when we click on submit, it submits to update. So this is where we need to catch um, all the form data. So we'll start by saying posts, and then we'll say post.find uh, based on the parameters. Okay, so we'll find a record that we want to update. And we'll then say, um, so if the post um, updates successfully, so if post.update, and obviously we're updating uh, post params while listing it. So if this is successful, we want to redirect uh, to our admins um, index URL. We'll give this a notice, so just saying post was successfully uh, updated. But if it wasn't successfully updated, then we can say, uh, so just render the edit method. And as usual, we set the flash um, manually by saying alert and say something. Okay. And there was a problem updating post. And that's it. We can end our else statement like that. All right, so we find the post to update and we update it and everything else just um, falls in place. 
redirect or show an error message otherwise. Okay, so let's give this a, a try. So we try to update and it works. It brings us back here. Uh, that's to the record. We try to update, nothing changed. So let's try changing something. So it's a four and that changed to four and it's still pending. So we could try and see if we change this to active, it worked. So our edit works. We can select our multiple things and update. And when we go back into it, we can see those things are still selected. I think I initially selected um, uh, select tag. So that's probably why we can see just two selected. So I can try and select three and click on update. And when we go back into it, those three are still selected. All right, so we have um, an, uh, a functioning uh, editable post, which is what we wanted. So this is done, this, is, this works. We can change this, we could try to update without anything there. And we can see, we can see here there was a problem updating post, so everything works as expected. Okay, successful post, it's all good. So here we can say that these two are done. All right, so we have the delete method to do in the next lesson. And I will see you um, in the next lesson.